Good afternoon, everybody. This is my solar cooker dehydrator combination. I've taken my solar cooker and added a dehydrator to it. The dehydrator is detachable. And what I've done with the solar cooker is I've cut a hole in the bottom of the front and in the top of the back. So when the air heats up inside the solar cooker, it flows through the front and it goes through the back of it and then up through the dehydrator. And when I want to use the solar cooker as a solar cooker, I just simply block the holes on each side and it heats up to its regular temperature. But right now it's around 200 degrees, which is plenty enough to dehydrate these tomatoes I have in here. So the air comes in the front, gets heated up, and it goes through the top hole in the back, up through my dehydrator, through my tomatoes I have on a rack in here, and then out through the top. Once I place the door on the dehydrator, Amazing. Then the unit is totally sealed and the air doesn't have anywhere to go but Hydrated. through here, heat it up, and then out through the top. This is a very simple concept. I've cut the holes approximately the same volume. Yep. Yeah. This one's slightly smaller, that one's slightly bigger, and they're all about the same size though, and this one here. It's long, but it's shorter. So the air comes in through here, it's just heated up here, goes through the tomatoes, and out through the top. Uh, so I can take this dehydrator off, and if I want to, I can place it any heating source in the bottom of it, a hair dryer, or maybe a furnace vent, and you can dehydrate heat, uh, dehydrate stuff through it. It's a very good machine and we dehydrate uh, a lot of food through it. Thank you very much.